Here is our Rube Goldberg machine. It starts off when the game case is pulled into the gap. It pulls out the popsicle stick and the ball rolls down the track. It then goes into the cup, which jostles the yellow track. That causes the tape roll to fall, which yanks out the popsicle stick, which releases the steel bearing. The steel bearing then rolls down the styrofoam track and across the floor. It hits the popsicle stick barrier, which jostles the skewer, which releases the orange ball. The orange ball rolls into the blue wheel, which falls off the box, which yanks at the string, which releases the blue ball. The blue ball swings back and forth and eventually hits this Lego man. The Lego man crashes into the styrofoam cup, which falls off. It takes the dragon with it, and then this label roll. When the label roll falls, it pulls down the yellow track. It also yanks out this popsicle stick, which releases the green ball. It rolls down the pipe, across the yellow track that was just pulled off, and down the candy canes. After it rolls down the candy canes, it hits this battery, which rolls down this, this styrofoam ramp. It crashes into this tower, which causes the battery to fall. The battery pulls up the bouncy ball on the other side because of a pulley, and lifts this paint stirrer. This causes the can to roll across a DS game that was pulled down at the beginning, across more DS games, into the magnets which stop it. The ball inside the, the can then rolls out into the cup. The cup then falls and pulls out these magnets, which causes this Lego thing to roll. It then rolls down the, the wooden beam, crashes into the meter stick, which causes this weight to fall off, and then lands on the easy button, which ends the Rube Goldberg machine.